Hello everyone, welcome back. <coughs> this is Carson Cloud. <coughs> so in this video, I'm going to show you two settings for, for automatic Intune enrollment using Autopilot. So this video is not going through the the, the deployments of um, Autopilot or deploy workstation using Autopilot, but I'm going to show you just the two settings that you need to enable when using Autopilot. So now let's get started. So the first setting I want to show you is the, let's go to uh, Intune here and go to Device Enrollment. This is the first settings. Click on Windows Enrollment. Automatic Enrollment. So right here, for MD users or MDM user scope, you want to make sure you choose all or you, if you want to specify a certain security groups, you can use, click on some and it's allow you to add the, um, the pilot group or the security groups here. So this is very important. You want to make sure you either select some or select all and then click on save. That's the first step. And the second step, you want to go into back to Windows enrollment and then go into under Windows Autopilot program. You click on deployment profiles. You want to click on create a profiles. Let's call this a test. I can leave this as no and click next. So the settings here, you want to make sure it says Azure AD join. So this is all you have to do. Those are the only two settings that you need to configure for automatic Intune enrollment using autopilot. Okay. So this is very important. You make sure it says Azure AD join. So that's it. That's the, um, let's cover the automatic enrollment using Intune. Um, I'm sorry, automatic enrollments into Intune using autopilot. Thank you for watching and have a great day.